Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this in-place mass building. Let's get started. So let's open up a new architecture template. And then from architecture, click on reference plane. We're going to add some reference plane. To be our guide so here I'm gonna make this equal so I'm gonna make this 1600 or 16,000 and this one will be 10,000 I'm gonna add more reference plane and this one will be 1000 So now we have 16 meters by 10 meters with an offset of 1000 millimeters, so 1 meters. After this, let's go to our south elevation and go to architecture and click this level. And then we're just going to add four more levels. So we're good with this. Let's go back to level one and go to massing and site and click on in place mass. Close this and just leave it as mass one. Press OK. And then now let's select ellipse. So from the middle. to the end like that and after this go to level 6 so now when we select level 6 it's not showing so what you have to do is look for view range which is this, click edit, set your bottom to level 1, and view depth to level 1 as well. Apply, and then OK. And now it's showing. Click on ellipse again, select the middle, select the offset, and the second offset and then go to 3D press escape click both of this ellipse and then create form so next thing that you're gonna do select the edge so once you select the edge click this add edge 
we're going to select this to here and one more press escape so first we're going to select this part so let's select and then click on tab so once you select everything click on divide surface and then here what you can do is you can change the number of U grid and V grid so at the moment we have 10 of each let's try adding 15 on the V so the V is the hor the vertical and the U grid is the horizontal so I'm gonna change this to 6 it's because we have 6 levels but depending on uh, what your design is you can change it whatever you want so as of now I'm going to select 6 and 15 and then I'm gonna choose a pattern so I'm gonna choose a triangle flat for now so now we're gonna hit escape and then we're gonna select the next pattern which is this one so click on tab and then once it's highlight click it again and then with here we can create a form solid form and then with this we can either change the depth here or to be exact we can change the positive offset with here in the properties so I'm gonna make it like that I'm also gonna divide this and then I'm gonna change this to 6 and I'm gonna choose rectangle And then I'm going to hit escape again. Let's go on to the next form, which is this one. Click on tab. Once it's highlight, click it again. And then now we could divide it and add the pattern. I'm going to make this same rectangular flat. I'm going to change the U grid to 6 and then the V grid to 15 similar to this part so we need to create two profile for the triangle flat and the rectangle so with that we need to go to file new and then family and then look for metric curtain panel pattern base and then press open click on this so for now let's start with the rectangle so I'm just gonna make this simple I'm gonna create I'm gonna click the point element I'm gonna click this and then I'm just gonna create a simple circle so you need to select this first and then select the circle I'll make this 50 and then 
press escape and then select everything including the circle and then create a solid form after that go to wireframe we need to select the wireframe only which is this and then let's create a solid form so this will be the glass you can either choose to do it like this or let's add in 10 positive offset for the glass so next we're just gonna add a family type and this will be glass and then one more is the frame so this will be the frame So actually, I'm just going to delete this for now. And create a new one. It's because I forgot the type parameter. You need to set this to material. And then put in glass and frame again. will be frame hit apply and then ok and then now once we select this it will appear on the parameter so this will be frame and then the other one will be glass So I was able to select this and then let's put in the glass. I just want to see if I was able to put the glass properly. So I'm just going to change this material. So now that's it's good. We could save this for first and load it to our project. So once it's loaded, we can select this. And then from this pattern, it will be under the rectangle. And then lastly, let's create the profile for the rectangular, uh, for the triangle flat. Again, let's go to file, click on new, and then family. Look for curtain panel pattern base. Click on this, and then change it to triangle flat. 
again I'm, ju I'm just gonna make this simple click on the point element and then press escape click it click it again and then click on circle I'm gonna make this 50 again press escape highlight everything click on it and then hold on control and then click on the circle as well and then once everything is selected create the form let's create the family type first new parameter don't forget to change this to material this will be glass and then frame apply and then ok and then next in order for us to create the glass let's go to wireframe select everything create the form create the form choose this one and then the positive offset to 10 you can select this family parameter and then this will be the glass And then let's select all of this. This will be the frame. Let's look at it at hidden line. Looks good. Now we need to save this and load to our project. I've saved this and then I'm, I'm gonna load it to our project. Let's look at it at 3D view. And then now select this. And then it will be under the triangle flat. It change, and then now let's select this triangle flat. And then as you can see, we have our frame and our glass portion on this UNV grid. Now we could change some of these parameters. Let's put 25. And then let's change this to maybe 20. So 20 and 25. This actually looks much better. So I'm going to change this to 20 and 25 again as well. So now it's 20 and 25 for both of the triangle. We could click finish. So first things first go to architecture and then select the roof and then click roof by face that's done now let's go to wall and then click on wall by face
So now that's done. Let's go to selecting the mass and then click on mass floor. Select everything. So by selecting and then holding on the shift button and then pressing OK. So we have mass floor now. Now we need to convert it to an actual floor. So go to floor and then floor by face and then click on this click on the floors so I'm gonna make it and then create floor so now when we go to our level one and if we create a camera view we will have our model Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.